In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Discord not opening on PC. So the first thing you can do to fix this issue is to clear the Discord cache and this may just uh, fix your issue right away instantly, okay? And the way you do this is by going down here to the search box and typing in run. Then you want to open up this little run app and type in, just like I did here, percent avdata percent. Then what you want to do is click OK. And once you're in here, you want to search for Discord. It's here for me. You want to enter this folder. And in here, you want to delete three folders. You want to delete cache, code cache, and the GPU cache. So just uh, click on every single one and press this delete button up here. If you get this error saying folder in use, uh, don't worry. What you want to do is go to the taskbar, right click, and press task manager. Then what you want to do is search for Discord up here. There we go. And you want to click on Discord and press end task. This will end the Discord task and close down Discord that's running in the background. Then you want to come back here and press this delete button yet again. And as you can see, it's now worked. So delete the cache and then the code cache. And then the last one is the GPU cache. Delete this one as well. There we go. And don't worry, these will not ruin anything uh, regarding Discord on your computer. What this will do is simply uh, remove all the, all the Discord cache, which will be generated the next time you launch up your app. So that's the first thing you can do. Uh, once you've done that, if it still doesn't work, you want to come to your desktop. I'm going to show desktop icons. There we go. And you want to look for your disk, the, uh, Discord icon, okay? What you want to do is then right click on it. So right click on the Discord icon and click show more options. In here you want to click properties. And then what you want to do is go under compatibility and click disable full screen optimizations and click run this program as an administrator. Now you want to click apply and OK. If that didn't fix the issue, you want to go in there again. Inside options, more properties, there we go. And you want to go into compatibility yet again and click run this program in compatibility mode 4 and then select Windows 8. And then you want to click apply and OK yet again. Now, if that didn't fix your issue, the third thing you can try doing is kind of checking for errors inside your system. And the way you do this is by going down here and typing in CMD. And then inside the command prompt, you want to click over here and it will open up your CMD. Now what you want to do is type in CFC and then spacebar slash and then scan now. And what you want to do is press enter and this will begin a system scan and the process will take a bit of time and if there's any errors found it will fix them automatically. Now if that didn't work for you we'll proceed to the next one which is uh, as follows. You want to go over here, right click to your Discord on your desktop and click on open file location. You then want to click up here, so not anywhere where it's clickable but on the very right of it and simply copy that over here. So you can press Ctrl C or simply right click and press copy. Once you've done this, what you want to do is go to the search box down here and type in Windows Defender Firewall. There we go. Make sure you don't press the Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security, but this one that only says Windows Defender Firewall. When you press this, you want to go over here and go to where it says allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, okay? And you want to click this. And in here, you want to click Change Settings. And then it may ask you for your PIN. Just allow it if it does. And then what you want to do is click Allow Another App. In here, you want to put in your path. So the what we've just copied, you want to right click and paste it or press Ctrl and V, which will automatically paste it in, okay? You can also browse it if you want to, okay? Now for me, as you can see, uh, it has for some reason uh, unselected that, uh, unselected what I've just copied. So I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna yet again, uh, go to the folder and press over here and copy this. There we go. And then I'm gonna paste it in there we go and then what you want to do once it's pasted in there you want to click add okay uh, it doesn't work for me right now because I've already added that path but yeah that's exactly what you want to do okay now the second option the second way you can do this is by pressing browse over here and simply uh, going up here and pasting in the location pressing enter there we go and then once it finds this um, folder you want to click update.exe 
which is basically the Discord app. I don't know why it's called that, but it's called that. And you want to click open. And there we go. You want to press add. And then when you find it, make sure under private and public, both are enabled. Okay. And then what you want to do is press OK. Then once you've done that, if that didn't fix your issue, you want to go to your uh, search yet again and type in uninstall. And then you want to go inside uh, settings. Okay. So inside installed apps over here, you want to click on it, installed apps, and you want to look for discord. There we go. Press these three dots over here and press uninstall. This will uninstall discord for you automatically out of, uh, off of your computer. And what you then want to do is clean reinstall it yet again. So you simply want to go to discord.com, which is this website over here. You want to press download, which will download discord yet again. And you simply want to reinstall it. And hopefully that fixes the issue. Now, I hope one of these fixed your issue. If they did, I'm glad they did. And make sure to subscribe to the channel.